So here we are. I'm going to fire up the uh, the the fire bowl that we've made out of the 28 inch cowboy wok, and I'm just firing up my uh, my barbecue starter. And according to the rules of barbecue, the smoke is following me whichever direction I go in. So I'm going to move away from that for a bit. I've got my table set up for making some lamb shish kebabs. Which are going to go on those skewers. And those skewers are going to bridge that little setup I've made with my barbecue dividers. My barbecue grill dividers. So... Uh, I think you can pretty much see how that's going to work out. Right, so uh, next thing to do is get this lot sorted out. So I've got um, red pepper, got an onion, got a lemon, got olive oil. I'm going to go and grab some garlic now. I need salt and pepper. That's it. And I've got 600 grams of lamb leg steaks, which I'm going to thread alternatively on the skewers with the... Uh, peppers and onions so uh, I'll get on with that around about now right so the first thing I want to do is uh, get some garlic smashed up because I want to make a marinade for the lamb so we'll get all that garlic smashed up that's quite a lot that's what seven eight eight cloves of garlic something in that ballpark so what I do is I just cut the hard end and give it a little smash it it's probably setting my camera skew actually love the smell of garlic that one can go I'll find a home that'll grow somewhere. It's often one of the little tricks I learned from my friend Emma is that she takes the little bits of garlic, the ones right in the middle that are too fiddly to chop up, and she uh, turns them into seed seedlings, you know, basically. So she gets a whole ton of garlic from one little tiny bit of difficult to manage garlic. I've been watching a channel lately called Wilderness Cooking. It's about this chap in Azerbaijan, beautiful mountain place in Azerbaijan. And uh, he does all this wild cooking and he really inspires me. I'm sure he inspires many to do the same. In fact, he's probably the inspiration behind me converting the uh, too big to be useful 28 inch cowboy wok into that brazier because I thought I could do that or I could do something like it you know start putting stuff together and yeah so I'm gonna get that smashed up <laughs> rather nice break in the weather it's been windy and rainy and horrible lately and unfortunate in that yesterday and today haven't been too bad yesterday I fixed the water butt which for those of you who've been following my progress will have seen that so I'm going to use a bit of the um, salt to help mash that up so, put on about a teaspoon of salt and use it to mash it. I don't need to be too diligent about this, but I really want to start the oils coming out of that garlic and uh, getting into the salt, which will carry it nicely into the meat. So, really just bruising it rather than pulping it if you follow my drift that would be rather nice right I'm going to put that in my meat into this 
that's mashed up perfectly enough. You don't need to be too diligent about that, as I've said. Put that out of the way for now. And into that goes the juice of a lemon. So I give it a good old roll, which helps it juice easier. And I'm just going to run and get my juicer to get the max out of that. And um, some mar um, oregano or oregano. Yeah, still in focus, but looks of things. That's the oregano I'm using. It's very nice, nicer, not ground down too fine. I quite like it. And there's me lemon squeezy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Cut my lemon in half, stick it in my squeezer. And I'll give it the good news straight into the marinade. That's one. And now the next one. That in. Good old squeeze. Put that to one side. And what I like to do is I check up the amount of lemon juice I've got and I equal that with olive oil and that's a typical classic Greek, Turkish, that part of the world type um, marinade and salad dressing. So put plenty in. So in there we've got the salt, we've got the garlic, we've got the lemon juice, we've got the olive oil and now I want some oregano it's a nice herb to use with lamb and i'm using what quite a generous amount i'm using about two teaspoons of it there and I'll give that a mix and now it's time to cut up my veggies just putting that to one side right veggies onions Advantage of being in the garden is I can take all these bits and stick them straight into my compost. I want, I'm going to want them fairly fat on the skewers, so I'm going to divide them into three like that. Okay, peppers. I really want to get the max out of the pepper, so I'm going to go in and cut around that. When I'm dicing them, I cut it a different way, which those of you who've seen my videos will, will know. And then I just want to cut that into nice long slivers. And then half those, so we've got nice big chunky bits to go on the skewers. So, kind of like that. Two, three, and of course there's seven pieces in the hills is. Now we've got eight. So I'll chuck those into the bowl with my veggies. And now I'll cut the meat up. Lamb is starting to get expensive by our standards, which is unfortunate. But it's not as nearly as expensive as it is elsewhere in the world. I've noticed that in uh, Canada and the United States it's, it's a ridiculous price. But there you go. And I'm going to cut some nice big fat chunks of that. Like that. Don't know if you can still see all that. And those chunks go straight into my marinade. Which is here and again bearing in mind it's it is lamb steak so it's it's got a nice bit of fat on it which is handy it helps them cook nicely so I'll get those in the marinade and get that turned in the marinade and let them sit there 
while we prepare our fire. I'm going to serve these with some uh, microwave rice, but it's really nice to serve them with salad. And um, but um, I don't have that easily to hand at the moment, so I'm just going to do this. Uh, I wasn't expecting today to be quite as good as it is, so uh, this is rather an impromptu video. So that's the meat marinating in all those nice things. Now I'll just have a quick clean up here and get back to you. Alright, that's my veg prepped up. Uh, what I want to do is I'm going to add a bit more salt and some black pepper to that. Little bit more salt and some black pepper. I like lots of black pepper. Put in as much as you like. Right, I think it's time to carry my coals over and set my fire going. So I'm going to add a bit more to that just to get some. Uh, just to get some uh, extra cooking time. All right, it's time to get skewering up. And I've got these uh, nice broad Turkish style skewers. And the good thing is that they're nice and flat and they don't they don't allow the uh, don't allow the the meat to key on the skewers as round or bamboo skewers often do. So I'm going to start with a bit of onion and a nice chunk of onion and I'm going to run it down to about there and I'm going to start with a piece of meat and not to compress it too tight, leave it nice and separate and then a piece of pepper and then a piece of meat and then another piece of onion so you see how it goes meat veg meat veg and then just carry on pretty much like that so there they are cooking directly over the coals and all I've got to do is keep turning them make sure nothing gets too burnt and the lamb fat is now dripping off them because they're cooking over fairly fierce heat and they're cooking directly over the coals so I just keep turning them just to make sure that they don't burn I'll just turn them and switch them nice so that's my first cook on the fire bowl as they start to drip and flare just give them a turn and I know they're gonna be delicious just gonna serve them up like I said with some rice maybe some hot pepper sauce and that will be a feast so there we go a little bit charred in places but um really really tasty shazlet kebabs so there you go that's it served up with some garlic mayonnaise some um, chili sauce and some lovely basmati rice
Hey friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications for all my future videos. It would be great to hear from you in the comments and I'll try to get back to as many of you as possible. You may wish to check out these titles or even help me out with a donation using the links in the description below the video. Thanks for watching.